Hello, this is Ricardo Mantilla with the Iowa Flood Center and I'm here to give you a little information about how to access the tools that the Iowa Flood Center has been developing um, to help monitoring and keep updates on the flooding situation that is happening in Iowa right now. So our tools can be easily accessed by going to our website iowafloodcenter.org and our main tool is the Iowa Flood Information System that you will see here on the right, or IFIS. When you click there, you will find um, access to a number of tools, and I'm going to focus today on two of them, the flood alerts and the inundation maps. So by clicking on the flood alerts, you will be guided to a map of Iowa that shows locations where current flooding situations are occurring. Um, you can zoom in and out of this map and I'm going to use as an example um, the map of Cedar Falls where we are experience, currently experiencing major flooding. When you click on the button on the triangle you're going to get information from the predictions that are being done if you click the button uh, more info you're going to be able to see the time series of stream flow from the last few days and then you're going to also be able to see the prediction for the next five days uh, in particular for cedar falls uh, we are expecting a um, the flood to crest at around four, um, 99 feet um, that's a river stage um, that is sometimes information that is difficult to relate to what can be happening in the city. So if you close the um, stream flow information and stage information, you can go and find maps for some of the major cities in Iowa and then be able to identify what that means. So here I am zooming in on Cedar Falls and I'm going to use the slider on the right to go to 96 feet and when I release the button then I can see what that, how that translates into flooding for the city so here we see that you know some areas of um, near the highway will be um, affected by the flood and this is flooding that is expected to happen on Sunday we have maps for other communities that can be accessed um, through the flood maps interface on the right um, you can go to the flood map scenarios for Iowa and you will find all this all the all the cities that um, will be affected in the next few days by uh, flooding in Cedar Rapids right now the National Weather Service is predicting um, somewhere between 22 to 25 feet for stage um, at 22 a lot of the city will be affected areas um, near the Czech uh, Museum the National Czech Museum the Nuevo Market um, which are areas that are familiar to many people in Cedar Rapids and you can use the map and you can use also um, satellite view to be able to see more specific places that might be affecting you, your neighbors, or specific areas of the downtown district. Um, at the Iowa Flood Center, we have some other tools that are helping us keep monitoring um, the floods. These tools are not available to the public yet. They are part of our experimental uh, flood forecasting model. Uh, one of them allows us to look at the uh, flooding index situation in the state um, this tool allows us to see what are the major rivers that are being affected by flooding and which ones will be affected in the next few days so all the colors or all the rivers that are colored with yellow orange red or purple are experiencing some level of flooding um, across the state. So as you can see here, this is a widespread situation in eastern Iowa. 
the Makoketa River is now being affected by rain that happened in the last 24 hours. So our tools are also allowing us to see um, what is happening, um, keeping track of precipitation. This is a map of the precipitation of the last 24 hours in the state. And we are keeping an eye on the precipitation that we're expecting on Saturday and towards the end of the day today. And that's going to um, help us determine if the levels that are currently being predicted uh, in terms of flooding are going to get worse um, in the next um, day or two. So we will be keeping an eye on, on that. Um, if you have any more questions about how to use the IFIS platform, um, you can go back to the Iowa Flood Information System main page and you will find a link to a video tutorial that will walk you through the different um, applications. And finally, if you need to contact us dire directly, you can call us at 319-384-1729. I hope this information was useful.